Well, hello there. Yes, I've been running the Radeon uh, WX7100 um, for a wee while now. Uh, it's now Thursday. It is seven minutes past four. Uh, and I have a conference call very soon. Um, I thought I'd try something different. Uh, one of the things that I don't work on as an external contractor for uh, Kiosk Group is uh, Phoenix. So I thought, let's have a look at it because it's something I normally don't touch. Um, I found it very easy to use, but I wanted to basically see what happens, you know, with the graphics card with it. Uh, what is quite cool and groovy is how fast the on-screen feedback is. You know, so if I take, I don't know, we'll take for uh, 50 because that's as good as any. And I'll quickly set away a render. Now, the render is set away at 1920, 1080, okay? Um, it's fairly low res this sim at the moment, but it's it's basically just to show you what um, the basic, what you might call it is, you know, what sort of speed we're getting out of it. It's, I was getting earlier on today about a minute of frame. It does obviously depend on what's going on in the frame and stuff at the moment. Uh, I had um, the Z depth render out, which is not a lot of use for this particular example. Uh, that does slow some stuff down in this. Um, I'm assuming it's that. But yeah, one of my views on this card. Um, it's a damn good workstation card. It is. Uh, you're not going to have any big problems with slowdowns, put it that way. Uh, in fact, the one thing that will come useful in my machine is more RAM. There's only 16 gig of RAM in this machine uh, because it's basically all I've needed for the last year or so. Uh, I am going to have to update that to a bit more RAM. In fact, I've just found one of my machines in storage that appears to have a lot more RAM, but I'm not quite sure if that's the machine I fried about three years back or not. Um, but the idea is <coughs> excuse me, to set that machine up with this graphics card uh, when the uh, you know the big one, the car that you're all you know looking forward to, uh, is installed in this machine. Now, it's pretty bloody good. Um, the only thing that I have noticed at the moment, in fact, I'll wait. I'll show you a couple of things because I want to give a proper balanced review of this card. Um, you know, they might give me things for nothing. That doesn't mean that I'm going to you know hide any problem. Now, I've came across uh, a couple of things that. Um, at the moment, one, I haven't actually asked anybody whether there's a simple solution. The other one I have, um, and we'll see what's going on. So there you go. Um, let's put a bit of lens glare on it. It took 3 minutes 41 seconds there um, using um, very advanced. Okay. Now, which is pretty okay, you know. I mean, it's, um, now, one thing I am going to show you is, uh, if you give me just two seconds, again, I've got to pause. Okay, I've changed the render engine over to uh, VRRT. Um, I'm going to show you something first of all. Right? It will prepare the scene for frame, calculate the self illumination, dun -dun 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 -dun. it'll do a low res version of it, and then it'll do a higher res version. And it's fairly bloody fast, to be honest with you. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, It refines it through. Now, if I change frames here, you know, I'll just stop this, bring it forward to something a bit more small. -y. Let's just Tell me to move it out of the way. Put it somewhere in there. Let's see about there. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm going to do the same thing again. You watch at the bottom, see the drama, blah, 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 all the stuff, right? And then it'll do your lower res, any higher res. So you've got this here, you know, it's like I can actually pause that, bring the other light back in because, yeah, it's probably a thing to have the sun there for this. Well, I hope you realize I'm sort of thinking on my feet a little bit here. Um, because of some of this. So there you go. Now you've got the smoke and it's probably lit, blah, 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 blah. And it looks quite nice, right? And you're probably thinking, that's pretty damn cool. I like this. This is cool. Yeah. Okay, I just have to edit somewhere because something um, popped at the bottom of my screen. Um, now, the one thing that I have noticed here uh, is if you are using OpenCL with this card, you will get uh, the re rear log you know message thing pops up uh, it says warning building CL open CL trace program for device AMD accelerated parallel processing Ellesmere that builds blah, 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 blah. and basically it builds things for the first time you run it and it may take a while now this is saying yeah it's going to take a bloody while right it's saying it's going to take about five hours or something um, which is interesting 
not brilliant, but you know, interesting nonetheless. So let me run you on another problem. We're in Nuke, okay? Now let's assume in Nuke, you want to make sure it's running on your GPU. Okay, you got your hardware, boom, no GPU available. Why is that? Well, this is not an AMD problem. It is not a problem with the card or the driver. This is a foundry problem, okay? Uh, now I know support is coming in a future version, probably Nuke 11, because uh, they've already made that public, you know, about a week ago. But as of this moment, none of the AMD cards are supported in Nuke at all, all right? It's like, yeah, you can do stuff. It'll still behave the way it normally does, but you're not getting any uh, sort of optimization for the GPU. So that's the first thing that, as I say, that I've noticed, and this build's gonna take 60 million lifetimes, obviously. So I'm gonna pause it again. We're gonna try something else a bit that's a bit cool with it. Okay, here's a, uh, an interesting one. Um, you can actually do liquid simulations with uh, Phoenix as well. Now the, the viewport here is pretty damn responsive. I've just stuck a different material on this so it will um, be a bit uh, more obvious what's going on, right? So let's just take this, uh, we'll take it somewhere like that where there's plenty of stuff going on. Hit a render. Doing. It's fairly um, fast rendering uh, with this, and you get a lot of um, the feedback's fairly fast. Obviously, uh, the card helps massively. Um, so yeah, if I used you know basically RT, as I say, I've got to um, rebuild that. Okay. Uh, that whole rebuild process, which I really don't fancy doing tonight. I may do it when I'm finished doing the things and out having a drink tonight, or I may uh, leave it until some point over the weekend. Um, so yeah, my reaction on this card, uh, which is my second day, which is really about four or five days been running this. Um, I'm impressed, yes. I, I think it's a very good workstation card. Uh, there are some of the things that raise an eyebrow, like the lack of nuke support, but that isn't down to AMD or the card itself or the drivers, that is down to the foundry. Uh, I, you know, I basically sent an email to technical support to find out. Um, so there you go. But as I say, it is supported, you know, or planned to be in uh, Nuke 11, uh, judging by some of the stuff that they've been seeing publicly lately. So yeah, um, what will my final result be at the end of the week? Well, we'll see. What I did do is load um, the city that I showed in the, in the last um, review video um, into the Unreal Engine without textures, um, just to see how that ran. Of course, it ran amazingly well. So yeah, I'm very pleased with it. It's a good card. Uh, I think it would. It's a shame that um, stuff like the you know running RT on the GPU is requires the whole thing to do an internal buildy type whatever the hell. Again, I don't use Phoenix, so although I, you know, I work as an external, external contractor for Kiosk Group, uh, that's something I don't have anything to do with at all. Um, so this is just me dicking around with it, basically, okay? Like a normal, everyday user. Anyway, right, now we've got this horrible colored thing in there. I'm gonna wish you all a uh, very good day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.